Is it hard for you to remember all the habits that you would like to build? If so, there is a free app that you could use to run almost every aspect of your life. Hi, my name is Steve Scott. I help creatives, online entrepreneurs, and other high achievers focus on what's important and find that elusive work-life balance. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the Todoist app and specifically how you can use it to build lifelong habits. Now, this is the exact same app that I use to run pretty much every aspect of my life. So I can tell you it is an app that you definitely want to check out. Well, without further ado, let's get to the content. Quick backstory before we dive into the content. Like a lot of people, I have struggled with building habits in the past. Now, my main issue was I could never find the right app to help me track my habits on a continuous basis. And it really wasn't until I read The Checklist Manifesto by Atul Gawande, where he talked about checklists and how you could use it to pretty much manage every aspect of your life. Now, this book talked mostly about pilots and doctors and how they use checklists with their really super important job. But I think anyone could take this mindset and build checklists in their lives. And that's kind of what made me gravitate towards the idea of Todoist instead of other apps that are specifically related to habits. I like Todoist because not only can I help um, myself track habits, I can also use it to run different projects and pretty much every task that I have to do within my life. So let's talk about what is Todoist. As I mentioned before, Todoist is a free app that you can find at todoist.com. That's T-O-D-O-I-S-T.com. What's cool about this app is you can install it on your phone, your computer, your tablet, pretty much any sort of device that you have, and it creates one account that you can access from multiple different devices. So if I add a task to my phone, it'll automatically update on my desktop. So it's a really powerful, flexible tool. The main purpose of Todoist is you could use it to run every task that you possibly could imagine in your life. So you could create daily tasks, uh, weekly tasks, monthly tasks, um, recurring, uh, pretty much anything that you have to do on a continuous basis can be added to Todoist. Now, I'm gonna be talking about Todoist a lot on this YouTube channel. I'll, I'll be creating a series of videos that help you walk through all aspects of this app. But I wanted to focus on three simple rules that you could use to build lifelong habits with Todoist, and then I'll dive into a simple tutorial within Todoist and show you how to get set up with this particular app. Rule number one, commit to using Todoist on a daily basis. I recommend opening up the Todoist app every single day and crossing off the tasks that you have on this particular app. Now think of how you use Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and all the other apps. You started by using them infrequently, but after using it a couple times a day, you just started to build almost that subconscious habit to check it on a regular basis. That's the habit that I want you to create with Todoist, where you just open up and use it to manage your life. Now to get started, I don't necessarily think you have to go out and add a bunch of habits and just make it overwhelming. Instead, I would recommend tracking simple habits that you do on a regular basis. So walk 5,000 steps, brush your teeth, uh, eat a piece of fruit, stuff that is so mind-blowingly stupid and easy to complete, you wanna start to track them as habits. And what you'll start to do there is after a couple of weeks, you'll just build almost that sub subconscious impulse to pull out Todoist and start to add tasks to it and use it to basically run your life. Rule number two, create small habits. There's a lot of excellent material that's been written about building habits. There is the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. There's my friend Stephen Geis who wrote the book Mini Habits. And most notably, there is the work of BJ Fogg with his course and website called Tiny Habits. The point being is you could easily create habits if you make every single habit you're trying to build slightly challenging, but fairly easy to do on a daily basis. Now, the reverse of that is often people will say, I will, I will write for two hours or I'm going to walk 20 miles every day. Stuff that's impossible to achieve and they don't build it as a habit because they just have no way to respond on those days when they feel overwhelmed by life. So the point being is when you're adding habits to, to uh, Todoist, you want to make sure that they're easy to complete on a daily basis. So as an example, a couple of habits that I have are walk 5,000 steps, and that's easy for me to do even in, on the busiest days. Um, read for 10 minutes. There is track my daily expenses. There's write for 30 minutes. And there are a couple of, of more that I can't think of off the top of my head. The point being is you wanna create habits that are fairly easy to, um, to build on a daily basis. 
Rule number three, continue to add habits and reminders. You'll be surprised at how many things can be added to uh, to do list. There are appointments, there are yearly tasks, monthly tasks, weekly tasks. Um, your wife has you to do something easily added to to do list. And once you've developed a habit of checking on a regular basis, you could just pretty much rely on this one app to help you remember everything you could possibly need to do in a given day, week, month, or year. As an example, I am a new father. My, my son's about to turn three years old. And there are a lot of things that come up with my daily routine with him. I have to drop him off at speech therapy. I have to bring him to daycare. I have to pick him up at daycare on certain days. Uh, on certain days, I spend half the day with him. And there are various activities that we like to do together. Bottom line is there are a lot of moving parts with just raising my son. So I'm a really busy person. So I often will pull out to do is and write down every single thing that I have to get done on a daily basis. And you'll just recognize this as soon as something comes up, you want to build the habit where you just pull out your phone and add it immediately as a task to to do is. So the question is, how do you add tasks and how do you actually build habits within the to do is framework? Well, right now we're going to go behind my computer screen. I'm going to show you a simple uh, getting started guide for adding habits to Todoist. So let's get to it. All right, I am in the Todoist app and this is the desktop version. And this is a personal preference. I like to add activities and tasks and do a lot of my Todoist management through the desktop version. But as a reminder, uh, Todoist is offered on mobile apps tablets, Mac, PC, pretty much any digital device you have, you can use it to access Todoist. And one more thing is if you could see over here, um, I looks, you can see I really haven't done much with this app. And that is because I am creating a dummy account. And I figure it is better to start from scratch with a dummy account and show you how to get started with this app. And I will, as a reminder, be creating future videos while I'll show you how to do everything within Todoist. Okay. At its core, there are just a couple simple functionalities to Todoist. So you could add a task, which you see here, and um, I'll be talking about this in a bit. And you could also add projects. So let's talk about how to add projects and um, projects specifically related to habits. So first off, you want to create what's called a master habit. List. So I'm going to call it master habit list. Real creative, right? And I'll cover this blue because blue is awesome. And then from here, you're going to want to right click or toggle it and then you're going to want to create what's called add child project. That's basically um, a sub project list of a main project. So that's add uh, child. So let's just do daily habits. We're going to go back up to master habit list again and add another child project. Oh, what did I do there? We're going to call this daily habits. And we're going to do this two more times. Monthly habits. And then we're going to go yearly habits. Simple, right? Okay, so from there, you're going to want to start adding tasks, uh, specifically habits you're going to do on a regular basis. So if you go under daily habits, you're going to add a task. So let's just do complete morning routine. It's hard to type and talk at the same time. And then this is going to be every day. And you're going to want to do this for all these uh, all these habits. If you want to do them on a daily basis. So every day is the, the quick shorthand to make this part of your every day. I'm going to say every day at 7 a.m. And then you could see here from this uh, these kind of circular arrows that this is a task that will show up every single day and you could just check it off your list. So I'm just gonna run through a couple of other habits that I personally do, and I'm going to just follow the same process. So walk um, 5,000 steps. I'm just gonna do every day, not at a certain time, just because it just gets done whenever. Keep 10 minutes every day. Going to, let's just do, add something towards the end of the day. So hold on. Add task, track cash expenditures. I like to track my spending at the end of every month through my credit card, but uh, I also like to any sort of cash purchase, I like to make sure I track that at the end of every day. So I'm going to put that for every 8 p.m. every single day. 
And finally, let's just do uh, floss teeth. You should be doing it twice a day, but um, let's just say every day. Helps if I type every day, 9 p.m. Okay. Okay, as you can see here, they all have circular arrows, so this is good to go. And then if you actually look up for today, the list of tasks that you have for today, uh, you have a, um, a list of five items. And then you just simply cross them off its app. Uh, actually, to do this will show you when something is past time. So I'm recording this around 8.45 in the morning. So I would just say I did this, and I did this, and then did this. And you just you see that um, as soon as you complete it, it's checked off your list. But then if you go in the next seven days, you see that these uh, lists of habits show up tomorrow. So that's kind of a cool thing that Todoist does is as, as soon as you complete a task, it just um, resets for the next day. Okay, so moving on to weekly habits. Um, I'm just trying to think of stuff I do on a regular basis. So mow lawn, uh, I know lawn mowing season is coming up. So I'm going to say mow lawn and I like to do it every five days. And that's what's cool about Todoist is any time you enter a certain parameter, so it could be every seven days, every every month, every third week, stuff like that, to do is, is quite intelligent for how it structures um, these tasks. So this just popped on my list for every mobile lawn. So if you go back here, you see that mobile lawn, you cross this off, and then let's just look at the next seven days. Let's see, let's find it down here. And you see it automatically pops up five days from now on April 14th. So it's really sophisticated like that, where you can get really super ninja with the uh, weekly habits that you want to uh, set up. Okay, so let's just add a few more. Let's see, make shopping list. I'm going to say every Friday. Let's do um, shop for groceries. So this is all part of the meal planning thing I, that I like to do. So every, let's go every Saturday. Uh, let's see, do meal prepping. Uh, that's like how you kind of chop vegetables, uh, put everything in containers ready to be cooked on a single day. I like to separate that. So let's just say do meal prepping, meal prepping every Sunday. And then let's do, uh, let's do shave. Okay, so this is a, a personal pet peeve of my wife is the fact that I don't shave as much as I should because I work from home. So I don't always feel the need to uh, be presentable, but let's just say shave every four days. And you don't have to add every single thing you do. It's just for me. I just like to uh, track everything I have to do on a regular basis. So that is weekly habits. So let's just move on to monthly habits. So let's just say get haircut. I like to do that every, I think usually every three weeks. So every three weeks. Yes, technically that's not a month, but I'd like to do that every three weeks. Um, let's see what else review credit card. Now I noticed one thing as I've been adding these habits, they automatically pop up for today. So if you don't want to do that, maybe you want to set aside a specific day of the month where you do certain actions. Let's just say review credit card statements. And let's just do every, let's see, every 10th. Uh, yeah. So every 10th. So, you see right here, this shows up, let's see, review credit card purchases. So uh, tomorrow is the 10th of April as I'm recording this. So review credit card statements, you see that pops up tomorrow. And then once you complete that task, it'll show up in May 10th, June 10th, so on and so forth. So let's go back to monthly habits. Um, and let's just, um, let's just, every 12th of the month. Okay, there, there we go. Um, and then finally, let's do yearly habits. Let's say annual physical. So this is where you go to your doctor, get your checkup, which you should all do. And let's just say every June 1st. And see, you see right there that pops up every June 1st. Uh, I think I just checked it off my list. Let's see. Okay. Kind of hard sometimes to actually talk at the same time and figure out what I am doing. So every June. Okay, there you go. And you can see that the little it's a circular um it's just gonna repeat every June first. So June first, 2019, June first, 2020, so on and so forth. 
get car inspected. Let's just say every, let's see, every August 10th. And then same thing there. And then finally start taxes project. That's something I like to do at the beginning of every year for my business. So I just say every second gen. So basically, uh, actually, why does this show for next year? Um, that's besides mine. I'll, I'll figure out what, what happened there. So, okay. So start tax taxes project. Then uh, that's actually a whole other video that will create about uh, starting taxes. Um, uh, sorry about uh, starting projects. Anyway, so that really is the essence of how to create habits within to do it. So you want to have a master habit list and you want to break it down into daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly habits. And if you toggle this carrot right here, you see that um, you can open and close all these different projects. And that is really it for the visual walkthrough of adding habits to Todoist. Now those are just a few examples of how I use Todoist to create lifelong habits. Now before we close things out, I would like to make one last important point. And that point is you should rely on Todoist to run every aspect of your life. The more you put into it, the more you'll get back from using Todoist on a regular basis. Now I'm going to be talking a lot about Todoist on this YouTube channel. I'll be creating a series of tutorial videos where we'll get behind the screen and show you different, pretty much cool things you could do with the simple app. So if you want to learn more about these particular videos and everything else on my channel, I would recommend subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell and this will let you, this will notify you as soon as I publish the next video. Okay, I would love to hear from you at this point. Um, do you use checklists in your life? Have you tried other habit apps? Have you ever actually tried to do this before? Uh, if you'd like to respond to this particular video, be sure to leave a comment in the section below this video. Well, thanks for watching and I look forward to speaking with you next time.